Hey, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic, where today I'm going to follow up my Sudoku video earlier, which I think should have gone live by now, with I'm going to attempt to solve the Times crossword today. Now, the reason I thought I should do two videos, I wouldn't normally, but I looked at the snitch rating for the Times crossword today. Now, here it is down here, 164. Now, this means this puzzle is monumentally difficult. Um, you can see that sort of average is around 100. Anything more than 138 is considered monstrous. And in fact, if we just go down, let's see when the last time 164 was registered. Well, there have been a few, but they are sort of very, very rare. These are sort of, you know, once a month type events, sometimes rarer than that. So, how are we going to do this? Uh, let's get rid of that and click play and we'll see how we go. Okay, I think the size of the screen looks all right. So, objective of criminal carrying weapon. It sounds like it's a word for criminal around the outside of or carrying a word for a weapon. The weapon might be arm or gun or gat. Nah. Opera, one performed without me love. Ah, uh, is this Idomeneo? I'm never actually sure how you say this, but I know two operas that begin with an I. Iolanth E, maybe? Or Idomeneo. I think it's spelled like that. And let's try and work out why. So one, that's going to be this I here in the Roman numeral for the word number one. Performed is done, D-O-N-E, without me, so done is without, around the edges of the word me, and then love is zero, is in the score in tennis at the end. So I think that this is going to be right. I have to confess, it's, it's only, I'm not an opera buff, so this is a word I know very much from crosswords. Um, Letting go, oh no, letting go right before audience, person who flourishes. The words before audience, I think, indicate homophone here. Um, but I don't know. Person who flourishes. Let's try and use the letters. These linguists are keen gardeners. Don't know. Came by bike or by boat or motorway if picked up. Ah, I can do this one. So if you come, if you came by bike, you rode. R O D E. Um, if you came by boat, you would road. R O W E D. If you came by motorway, a motorway is a road. R O A D. So. And picked up here is saying if you hear so if you pick something up you hear it so again a homophone indicator the correct answer being road and two sort of homophones for this word being referenced in the rest of the clue very nice um, let's try and use this one girl is deaf missing tips can't hear without its first and last letters would give an thea so that's can't hear without its first and last letters. Um, missing tips, I think, you know, that's that's immediately what struck me as likely. So um, I don't know whether that's good solving or just experience. Um, the solver emphatically in good form. The solver, that, I mean, that's typically referring to me or... I'm not sure. I've got some letters for this one though. Sort of track. All weather track, that might be the answer. Something boring if listened to. Good lord. Okay, well, this is another homophone. Something boring and all spelt like that bores holes. And if could be the word weather spelt like that. So if you were to spell these letters differently, but how they sound, you could write all weather, which fits with the crossing entries and obviously is a type of track. So how many, we've had 
three clues so far that I think are homophones. That is very unusual and difficult. Um, it may stand in the way. Note. Step is the answer to this. Uh, if you were to write stet on a manuscript you were editing, it would mean it may stand, i.e. Um, you might cross something out and then write stet, meaning remove the crossing out that you've made. Now how does the wordplay work? Well, the way here is a street. So whenever you see way in a crossword, it's always going to be street or road. Um, so st, in the street, in the s and the t, these two, we need to put a musical note, do, re, mi, fa, so, la, t, do, and the spelling of t there is t, e, so it may stand as the definition. He met Agnes sneakily in the garden. Oh, this is, this is easier. Okay, so sneakily here is an anagram indicator. He met Agnes is ten letters, and those of you who are fans of Jesus Christ Superstar or the Bible, um, should have no problems with Gethsemane there. Um, now there's a, this is interesting, something to blow about primates handling, yeah okay, so something to blow was all I needed here, I was immediately thinking musical instrument, so always remember that the, the compiler of a crossword is going to try and mislead you, um, so if you read this, you know, this is trying to, you know, guide you away from the true definition. Primates handling large fine, I think is trying to get at something that a religious figure is doing. Um, and something to blow about is suggesting something to get angry about, but something to blow would be a core on glay. So how's this work? Uh, okay. Oh. Right, C is about, as in circa. A primate, as in a monkey, is an orang. Apostrophe S, so orangs, is going around the outside of L for large and fine for A1, as in A-OK. -okay. If you were to describe your health as A1, you would be saying you were fine. So tricky wordplay, but we had, a, we had enough to go on that we could solve it. So this one might be doable now. These linguists are keen gardeners. A garden might be a plot. Ah, uh, no, I'm not getting that. Um, let's try that one. Act to help penurious soldier twenty to catch Irish girl. Blech. Something tax maybe. An act to help. Something law, it's more likely. An act is a law. So if that was law. I don't know. No, I'm not getting that one. Punch back of leg and hide. Well, the back of leg will be a G. That'll be the last letter of the word G, I would have thought. Oh, like the word leg. Um, I like boxing, but I don't know the names of any punches that are going to fit here, so let's try that one. Potentially dangerous steps end, end with cowards running. End. Ah, okay, yeah. So this is an anagram of end with the word cowards. So you put those two words together and they are running, as in flowing, or, you know, and if water flows, it would be churning up. So that's that's the anagram indicator there, the word running. Potentially dangerous steps. Well, I was thinking of a dance. Obviously, dancing steps. So we just need to figure out the anagram now. And the W really gives it away. It's got to be sword dance. Uh, let's do this one. Old bags, one put in train. Old bags, one put in train. Turning up somewhere in Pacific. Old bags. Bags here suggests if you surround something you would bag it. I don't know many words that, for old that begin with M. Even if they're reversed, this turning up here is a bit 
suspicious, isn't it? Um, don't know. Um, I'm just scanning the rest of these clues to see if any of that one looks doable. That's an anagram. Alias agent used in part of this country. Yes. So you may wonder how I did that, but I. You know that is just experience. I look at the the words alias agent, and to me they are so um, odd sitting together in a sentence that I immediately think the compiler must have used these specific letters for a reason. And what's the best reason to use specific letters in a cryptic crossword? It's because you need anagram fodder. So East Anglia there is the anagram to give a place in this country i.e. in the UK. Um, let's try that one beginning with N. Shots given shots that some doctors give bending over. Shots nips. Yeah, okay. A shot of a spirit would be a nip. I might have a nip of brandy. Um, it, it obviously some doctors spin, so you reverse spin, uh, you bend it over and you get nips, which is the answer. So a P in this one. Cold War leaders fall within a month. Cold War leaders fall within a month. I'm not sure. What the righteous have initially got going gradually. What the righteous have. Nobility. Ah, I feel that's on the tip of my tongue. Um, ah, okay, now I've got it, right. Righteous have no sin. Initially got is the first letter, the initial letter of the word got. That gives nosing. And if you sort of nose your car out of a car park space, you would be going gradually. So nosing, I think, is the answer there. It doesn't give me anything terribly useful in terms of letters. Let's try this one. This S might be helpful. Latin local glad as opponents showing up. Latin local glad. Ah, yeah, okay. So, this it was always one of these in every times crossword. Now, it's more difficult if it's a reversal, but there's always one clue where you can find the answer actually spelt out. Um, so if we look inside the words glad as opponent, you can see spelt out sh these words show if reversed, because you can have a reversal indicated by the word up in a down clue, P-O-S-A-D-A, -A, posada. And I think a posada is a sort of Spanish or Italian in, um, Latin, so it must be it must be in Italy, I think. Um, so I suppose I might be confusing Bodega and Posada, but I think they're both similar things. They're sort of speakeasies or um, pubs, bars in European countries. So Posada, I'm sure, is right here. And you can see the words showing that, uh, that answer reversed. Now this one might be gettable now. Always have a quick look when you get these letters to see if you can actually just think of any word that fits. I'm thinking of, I was going to say depressed, but that doesn't fit. Um, bah. Given time, one's inclined to accept one's daughter. Okay, I've got that. Right. Given time, it's very clever. Given time, problem is time in a crossword clue. It very often indicates T. But here, actually, given time is the definition. So if you're given time to do something, you may be thinking, oh, somebody's, you know, they've given me more time. But we need to think about this in a cryptic way. If you were given time, if a judge gave a criminal time, they would be sentencing them or imprisoning them. And that is the answer here, imprisoned. Now, how does it work? Uh, one's inclined, 
I'm prone to accept ones, to accept IS, so this is one, apostrophe S, and then daughter is just D, so I'm prone around is followed by D. Not easy, but as I say, a bit of experience helps you out there. Now this one has an odd start, so let's have a look. Rarely seen clasps can bind. Rarely seen clasps can bind. Now, I don't know if you notice that there, but I'm conscious of the way I read this clue. I don't read it as a sentence. Never read cryptic crossword clues as sentences because they very rarely require themselves to be read as sentences. Remember, they are very much, I think anyway, mathematical formula expressed in a, a sort of linguistic way. So that's what we have to get to. We have to try and read the formula correctly. So rarely seen here, I think he's saying anagram, the word seen, that is going to clasp or surround a word that means can. Now can is tricky because can can obviously mean may, as you might say, I can do something, I may do that, that thing. Can can be a tin, which is another three letter, good short synonym, always be thinking about short synonyms. But can can also be a lavatory. Now, the problem with lavatory or toilet is that there are a few short synonyms for that. WC, that's rare because obviously W and C tend not to be or to appear together in words. Um, Lou, obviously, that could be one, and lav could be one. So, how about enslave? And enslave, of course, means bind. So, very important. It's a lovely clue, but very important not to read it. Oh, look at that, that gives a V here. So this is and drop off then. Cold War leaders. Fall is drop. Within a month, within A, and the abbreviation for November, NOV, and drop off. Wow. Um, and here's an ellipsis. So next part of this, a lift to his opposite number. Well, elevator fits. But why is that to the Andropov's opposite number? Lift to his opposite number. Not sure. Um, let's try this one. Two words. So Damage shower, adjusting cold tap, endless grief. Adjusting cold tap. Oof. Oh, this is a very clever clue. This is a very clever clue. So you'll you'll have heard how I read that clue. Well, I read it wrong. <laughs> um, I'm now going to read it again in a way that might help you. Damage shower, adjusting cold tap, endless grief. So something that, sh that shows the damage, not in the sense of the damage as in what you might do if you crash your car, but the cost of an item would be a price tag. And here you can see if we adjust, if we anagram, C is an abbreviation for cold, because you might see it on a tap, you know, H and C. So C, tap an endless grief, i.e. grief without that F at the end, if you anagram all that up, you get price tag. That's brilliant, brilliant clue. Ah, okay, so this is poor law, isn't it? The act to help the poor. So why act to help Henrius? Soldier, Im ah, soldier imprisoned is a POW, a prisoner of war, and that's catching Irish girl. Irish girl is Orla, O-R-L-A, which I'm not very good with Irish names. They do come up in crosswords surprisingly often, um, and they always fill me with fear, but I think Orla is something that is on the sort of edges of my mind. So what's this one? After a hellish experience, refusing to drink old liqueur. Well, amaretto fits. Ah, yeah, okay, so after A, that's this A, a hellish experience is a mare, as in a nightmare, 
refusing to drink. If you refuse to drink alcohol, you are teetotal, TT. Uh, old is just O, put all that together, amaretto, and that gives us the answer. Uh, where now? Oh, we'll know that one. Let's have a look at this one. I don't think I've looked at this yet. Daredevil coming up briefly to perform again. Briefly to perform again. Let's go back to this one. Objective of criminal carrying weapon. One of the difficulties about this clue is the word of. Some people don't like of as a word to link definition to wordplay. I'm perfectly comfortable with it, but I seem to remember discussions with the listener crossword editors many years ago where they did not like using of to indicate the mathematical relationship of you know x equals y divided by z or something like that. Criminal could be bad. Balanced is the answer. Right, okay, so how does this work? Criminal is bad, carrying a weapon, a weapon is a lance, but lance in bad, balanced, and if you are objective, you are balanced. Now that should help, what's this? These linguists are keen gardeners. <laughs> if you're a keen gardener, you might dig lots, and dig lots are people who speak two languages, I think. Um, They are so, uh, so polyglot, I know, is a word. Diglot must be a word. Yeah, I'm going to go with that. Um, so, daredevil coming up briefly to perform. A, uh, adventurer is a daredevil. <laughs> that's, a very, that's another very clever clue. Okay, so how does the word play work? Well, advent is coming. Advent means coming. And then, then you need to up or reverse a short word which means perform again. Now if you perform something again you rerun it. So you shorten the word rerun, you raise it, you up it, and you get U-R-E-R -E and you stick that on the end of advent. That's all very straightforward. Not. Um, right. Letting go right before audience. Person who flourishes. Ah, oh, that's brilliant. <laughs> okay. A letting go right, as in a right an individual might have in a court to let go, is a waiver. <laughs> and if you were to say the word waiver, W-A-V-R, uh, a, a waiver would be a person who flourishes. You might wave a flag or flourish a flag. So, uh, and before an audience, this is a homophone. So, a different spelling of waiver, W-A-V-E-R, would be W-A-I-V-E-R, and it means, obviously, something, it's a right in law uh, to waive something. Now, um, we've, sort of, we've done very well on the left-hand side, and we haven't really got anything on the right, so let's try and, we haven't done all of these clues, and read them yet. He passed on watch in return for old coin. That's a brilliant surface, isn't it? He passed on watch in return. This is probably a reference to some classical myth, myth that I don't know, or somebody who passed on a watch or didn't guard something correctly. And it'll be a four-letter word for an old coin, I think. Um, and the problem is there are about six zillion of those. Um, that's our punch one that we don't know. That one I've looked at and didn't know. Uh, I've not done this one. Give impression of being keen on probe. Probe. You probe your nosy. Give impression of being keen. Uh, now, if this was elevator, would that give me any useful? Yes, it would give me a useful letter. A lift to his opposite number. Ah, is this? Well, I'll spell it right. If I spell, if this is elevator, is an elevator 
in the US, in America, a word for a lift? I think it is. So, I see. So this is just saying the American form of the word lift rather than referring to a particular American president who was the opposite number of Andropov. Um, now this, if that's right, ends in A. So it's going to be somewhere in the Pacific. Micronesia. Why? Old bags are crones, so crones plus one, i.e. so crones and this one here, put in train turning up. If you train your gun on someone, you aim it at them. So we reverse the word aim around crones eye, and we get Micronesia, which is somewhere in the Pacific. Very straightforward. Ah, this is going to be something into. Give impression of being keen on probe. If you probe something, you look into it. Look. Ah, and if you give the impression that you're keen on something, you would look into it. If you're into something, you really enjoy it. You know, it's your hobby. So I think look into is the answer. Now, obol is this old coin. O-B-O-L. Now, why is that right? Lobo. Lobo, I thought was a word for wolf. Uh, he passed on the watch. Ah, okay. He passed on. I think OB is an abbreviation for, is it obiter or something like that in, it's from obituary, that's where obituary comes from, it means somebody died, so I think ob is the first bit here, and then watch is low, as in behold, look, um, and that returns to give obol, which is the answer. Now, punch, back of leg, back of leg is going to be g, so and hide. Ox calf, gox calf. Punch. Back of leg, maybe it's not G, maybe it's the, your calf, it's the part of the body that is the back of the leg. That is very surprising. That would fit though. You punched, could it be box calf? Is that a word? By the way, one thing I'm doing there when I filled in this X is I'm scanning the rest of the grid for J's and Q's because quite often compilers try to achieve a pangram in their crosswords, so to include every letter of the alphabet once. So if you if you are solving and you do get an X, always or you know a J or a Q, always be on the lookout for that. Sometimes it can help you. Box calf. I don't know this expression, but I've got to put a word that means punch in here. And the only I can think of jab, which obviously doesn't fit with sword dance. Jab calf doesn't sound very likely. Box calf. Let's see if that works with this. The solver emphatically in good form, or well, yourself fits. That would be the solver emphatically in good form. I don't really understand that. I mean, if you're in good form, are you yourself? I feel myself today. I'm going to submit it. We're up towards half an hour now. I don't like the videos being too much longer than this. Um, if it's wrong, we'll try and work out. Oh, it's not. Good. Okay, so there we go. So it's taken ages, but it was very hard today. Um, and I hope that that's helpful to some of you. 
Yeah, I mean, I think it could be a reasonably experienced solver and, and struggle with this. This was not easy at all today. There's some brilliant clues. Um, and you're actually looking at some of the answers. You needed to have quite a lot of general knowledge. Um, let me just get a couple of the dictionary answers up. This is my online dictionary box. Oh, box calf isn't there. Well, it must be right because it. What's going on? Why is box calf not? Oh, box calf is there. Hyphenated. A chrome tanned calf skin. So, but the answer was the answer hyphenated. No. Hmm, that's interesting. Normally, um, if it's really a two word answer, not a hyphenated answer, maybe it, I might be wrong about the conventions and the times, but some, some crosswords would require. Yeah, no, in fact, look here. All weather, which is hyphenated, has a hyphen, not a comma between the enumerations there. So that's slightly peculiar. Maybe, maybe Boxcarf has changed. My electronic dictionary is a few years old now. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's quite a lot of you know general knowledge here from operas to odd words Gethsemane isn't perhaps that easy and drop off I mean that is a a, a name from the past um, you know waver it's it's brilliant this crossword diglot so yeah let's just check that um, what's this diglot is yeah somebody who's bilingual um, so it is a word for that um, so there you go I hope that's helpful and if you do enjoy the channel please subscribe uh, some of you may be in a position to sponsor us on Patreon and that's really welcome um, not only do you support us you also get our monthly puzzles um, and that's two dollars a month for the puzzle and three dollars a month you also get a video on how to solve the puzzle so some of you may be interested in that too thanks for watching and we'll be back soon with another edition of Cracking the Cryptic